What's up guys? In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to pair the Xiaomi Smart Band 7, what used to be called the Mi Band 7, with an Android phone for the first time. Now I just took this out of the box, connected it to power for charging, and it's now at 100% as you can see. And now I'm ready to pair it with an Android phone for the first time. This is a Galaxy A33 5G, and this is the Xiaomi Smart Band or Mi Band 7. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is download the app. And the app used to be called Mi Fit App. It's no longer Mi Fit App. It's called the Zep Life App. But you can go ahead and search Mi Fit. And the app that was formerly called Mi Fit is now called Zep Life. So that's the app you want to go ahead and download on your phone. And with the app installed, go ahead and launch it. Now, if you have a Zep Life account, you can go ahead and sign in. Or you can sign in with your Mi account, the one you used to use on the Mi Fit app previously. If it's your first time, you can create either a Zep Life account, a Mi account, or you can even go ahead and sign in with Facebook or Google or whatever other app you want to sign in with. Personally, since I already have an existing Mi account, I'll go to Mi. And then I'll sign in to my Mi account. Just simply enter your credentials, make sure you agree to a user agreement, and then tap on sign in to sign in to your Mi account. And of course, at some point, you might need to uh, verify your phone number. Shit. So I finally got signed in after a bit of a hiccup because I was signed in on another device. So there was kind of a problem trying to uh, verify my identity. Anyway, once you get signed in, you might have to give or disallow some permissions. But now it's time to pair the Mi Band 7 or the Smart Band 7 to your phone. So what you want to do is go to profile by tapping on the profile icon in the bottom right side. And on your profile page, you should see my devices. So tap on add device and then select band. And then there's a little message here that after you pair this device, the following info will be collected and processed. Activities, sleep, heart rate, basically everything you expect to be collected. So tap on agree, tap on got it. And this app will require access to your location information. So you can select while using the app. Next is permission to take pictures and record video. Um, let's say only this time. And then select the band has a QR code. And then try to scan the QR code. And allow the connection to happen. There you go. So confirm on the band by tapping on this tick icon. And there you go. So the pairing process has now begun. So tap on synced and you should get a quick user guide with a few tips on how to use this device. But really the app has now been set up and paired for the first time. You can now really get into the weeds of uh, your fitness band. You can see your battery percentage. You can get into your band settings, change a few things, display settings, all that kind of stuff. And that's basically how to pair your Mi Band 7 or rather Smart Band 7 with your phone. In this tutorial, we obviously used an Android phone, but it's more or less the same exact process for iPhone. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.